Psalm 70 to the chief musician, a psalm of David to bring to remembrance. You know, we forget things. One of the two church ordinances is the Lord's Supper, and that's to rem remind you of what Jesus Christ has done for us. That is to remind you that he's coming back. This psalm is about remembrance. Remembering the history. Remember what all the past things that God's done for you. There was a church that lost its f first love. Make haste, O oh God. That's one thing God is God does not do. God is a patient God. To deliver me. When you're in trouble, you need deliverance. You want it in a hurry. When God is never in a hurry. Make haste again to help me, O Lord. And when we come into problems in life, we want hurry up. And God just lays it out according to his time frame. God is very patient. He, the Bible calls it long-suffering. But he's heard your prayer. He, he, we've gone through that through the Psalms, the 70 Psalms so far. Let them be ashamed and confounded that seek after my soul. So there are people who are after David. What's the remembrance? That you've been in trouble and God's taken care of you. And God will take care of you again. Jesus said, fear them that can destroy the body, but fear him that can destroy the body and the soul in hell. The worst thing these people could do is, is kill David. And David was going to heaven. Well, he was going to Abraham's bosom. Let them be turned backward. That's a, that is a reverse repent. That is what happened in, in the garden when, they, when Jesus said, Who seek ye? And, they said, and he said, Jesus. And they fell backward. Supposedly that's some kind of movement that the Pentecostals move. You don't want to go backward. And put, conf put to confusion that desire my her. Well, God's not the offer of confusion. Let them be messed up. Let them don't know. Let them not have the, a, a foggiest idea. David's in trouble and he needs help. And like we all human dudes, we give God our plan. Isn't it amazing? We got the greatest plan that God doesn't have. And we spell it out to him. Let them be turned back for reward. Let them turn back. Go back again. For reward of their shame that say, Aha! Aha! Let them have shame. Judas had shame. And he never repented. He never got right. He may have been one of the ones that went backward in the garden. Aha, aha is a is a explanation that we got you. We're we're in charge. Aha. Let all those that seek thee, God, rejoice. And be glad therein. In thee. How come there are some people out there who seek God and they're not rejoicing and they're not glad? They carry a moon face. David's already got a victory and the prayer hasn't been answered. And let each... And let such as love thy salvation say continually, 
Let God be magnified. Love thy salvation is the Lord Jesus Christ. God be magnified, lifted up, praised, glorified, honored, loved. Everything more than what he is. And yet he's not magnified, he's not lifted up. Man is. Listen, when you bring this worldly junk into the church, you're not glorifying. Well, we're going to bring the teenagers in. No, you're not glorifying God. You're glorifying man to bring them. Yeah, we got a wonderful hymn. Bring them in. Bring them in. Bring them in from the world of sin. But the problem is the church today is turned is turn that bring them in using sin of the world. And using sin does not glorify God or magnify him because he is holy. God is not magnified in the, the music in the churches today. He is not magnified with the perverted Bibles that are out there. Matter of fact, he's more removed. And he sure is not magnified in family. He's not magnified on the job. And yes, being out in the world today, my job, yes, I heard Jesus Christ's name used in vain. That's not magnifying. This country doesn't magnify God. When you magnify it, it means you make it bigger. You are to love the Lord more than you loved the Lord yesterday. Magnify it, make it more. You are to pray more than you did yesterday. But I am poor and needy. True. This is the king of Israel. We need... Air, water, food, and clothing. Everything else is junk. And air, food, water comes from God. America is starting to see drought come to her nation. Because they don't want the God that provides it. Poor. What are you going to stand before God at either judgment? The great white throne judgment or the judgment seat of Christ? What are you going to be? You're going to be poor. You're not going to have nothing. You don't get nothing at the judgment seat of Christ after all the works are tried, and some will have nothing. The great white throne judgment, you're going to be stark naked right there before the God. Maybe the God you didn't believe in. What are you going to do? Whip out your credit cards and, and slide it with a credit card machine for God? Ain't going to work. Then they dress you up for a funeral, but they don't do you no good. That's a sell a suit. That's all that is. America does a lot of things just to sell. And there's no value. You're poor. Make haste unto me, O oh God. Again, go back to the prayer. Lord, He's repenting, and he's in sackcloth and ashes. He's humbled himself, and Lord, hurry up. Thou art my help, and not only a help, and my deliverer. What's the difference? A help is, is someone that is right alongside you. A deliverer is one that will take you out of. O oh Lord. Make no tarrying. And as I said again, God is the God of patience. He's not going to hurry up just because you tell him to hurry up. Matter of fact, he may go even slower. Oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider
I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. And when I think that God his Son not sparing sent him to die, I scarce can take it in. That on the cross, my burden gladly bearing, He bled and died to take away my sin. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. When Christ shall come.